Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Tech It. So here we are, just uh, watching my, um, I guess you'd call it oil refinery, refining some stuff. I've just seen a couple of freebies in the background that I'm going to happily take. Um, but I found something random in the inventory uh, while looking at what sort of things I could do in this episode. Oh, I've just, just finished capturing the last of the trees, so we'll just... Plant a few more, just for the interest of health and safety. Keep all of the resources coming through. No problem there. Shouldn't be a problem with those two cactuses. And um, we've got lots of stuff we don't need. Basically, I have found something in the menu that I haven't seen before. Mostly there's loads of cool new weapons, so this needle gun is going to be awesome. I look forward to building this, but I need magma cream first, so I'm hoping that my quarry will find some uh, obsidian, and that way I can get through into the nether. But the one thing I can look at here is this fishing rod, because this fishing rod appears to require a fishing rod, which is fairly standard, but then some deck cord, which is currently only used for crafting, but it's TNT surrounded by rubber. Now I have enough resources, I hope, to build TNT. Uh, okay, I don't. I know why. It's the same reason why I've got all of my dirt in my inventory. Because I took it with me, or I'm ready to take it with me, to my storage. So I've got my quarry going off in here. This is the most ridiculously hostile map. Oop. Damn it, I haven't brought a um, sword either. Coming here to check my stuff triggers a million baddies to spawn. My quarry has finished, which is excellent. It's also bad for all of these, because I need to turn them off before they explode, killing everything, which would be bad. Okay, so I have to sort that out later. One of these is for sand. Let's take sand with us. You're for dirt, so I'll check all you in there. So I've got one for sand, one for gravel, one for dirt, one for stone. So what have we found? Two diamonds, that's not bad. Uh, we'll take tin, we'll take copper, we'll take iron, we'll take diamonds. Per diamond, I'm going to need to make a sword. I'll do for now. I don't need, we'll come back. Obviously, I'm going to keep this quarry, this world getting quarried more and more and more. As, uh, as it progresses, but we don't need to worry about that for now. Because I want to play with this crazy sort of TNT fishing rod. <sighs> Didn't think about that, did I? Bloody melon is going to grow on the wrong side. God, this cactus plant is frustratingly annoying. Okay, let's chuck you in there and chuck you in there. So we've got four diamonds now. I want to bring all of you into here. And you've got plenty, so you will be happy for now. But anyway, we need my gunpowder, I think. How do you make TNT? So that should be enough to make TNT now. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. What? Is, click that, click that, click shift, click that, make a TNT. Right. So we now need some sticks. Some sticks. Some, some string. To make a fishing rod. Sorted. Okay. We need some rubber bars, which I've got somewhere, I hope. Nope, not that clever. Ah, where? I've got a chest, there it is. I've got a chest full of these. I genuinely not get any rubber bars anywhere. Well, I'm sorry, in the, I'm not being as clever as I thought I was. Really, did I not make rubber bars? Am I not that clever? Well, it's not going to cause too much problem, is it? 
Throw those all in there. Back that all up. So while it's doing that, we'll make the final ingredient. Which is the redstone torch. Judging, I'm guessing, and this is just purely a guess, but this is going to obviously produce some sort of fishing TNT style. I guess it's not a weapon, is it? I guess it's a fishing TNT style fishing rod. But I am very intrigued as to what this does. Okay. So, we will take my fishing TNT rod down to my lake and we'll see what it does. Oops, I'm trying to avoid falling a long way. I need to build some sort of better, better system, some sort of long drop so I can get very happily through. Now, I have no idea what this is going to do and so we're going to cast it out into the lake and see what happens. It's a good spot? Okay, let's go. That doesn't seem wise. There's a lot of effort that was for uh, two fish. Oh shit, not paying attention. Get up. <laughs> really? So it gave me two fish. That, that was genuinely all it gave me. Wow, that was really expensive for two fish. Oh, so on the uh, the level of um, and or percentage of worthwhile, we'll take that to be a uh, limited to none. So the TNT fishing is properly not worth the expense to produce the TNT fishing rod. It's good to know, I guess. Not ideal, but I guess that's, that's why you need to learn lessons throughout the world of Minecraft. I need to make a better way of getting up here, because this is awkward and annoying. If I seriously not sort this out properly. I thought I had. I must have just picked the wrong path. Maybe that's what we can do for the rest of this episode, is build some sort of quick entrance and exit. I'm guessing dimensional doors are still a thing, are they? A warp door, there it is. So a warp door is... Well, can't build a warp door. Dimensional door. And stable fabric, which is world thread surrounded by an, an, an ender pool. And world thread is something you can't build. Excellent. Golden door. What do they do? Golden dimensional door. Similar to a dimensional door, but keeps a pocket dimension loaded if placed on the inside. What? What? Ah, right. So we need this thread stuff that we can't we can't actually get hold of. That's good. So we wasted all of our gunpowder on a TNT fishing rod to give us two fish, which is always worthwhile. So let's at least cook our fish. So we can eat them. I'll throw them on the ground. Fish is less than three bars of health, so that was that was good. So that was uh, TNT, some rubber, a fishing rod for two fish. That was uh, that was well and truly not worth it. Not even remotely. Now I have been told that I can use. Oh, it's chest I've got it in nowadays. We got 
Legend 1, Legend Energy Cable. I can use Leadstone Cable to connect a refinery to a power supply. So let's see if I can remember the recipe for Leadstone Cable. Nope, I can't. I need a piece of glass. It's more redstone. Okay, it's totally wrong. All right, I'll accept that I was totally wrong. What am I doing wrong here? Today is the day of can't click things properly. Let's grab another stack of that. Let's go for 60 for now. Just because I'm going to need it, aren't I? I'm going to need all of this leadstone energy cable in the long term. I don't know why I'm carrying around a single bloody thing of wheat. I need to build another sword as well. I'll also do that before I forget. There's nothing more annoying than being without a sword. So what, we've got loads of perdite. This appears to be the most abundant of the shiny resources. Okay. Good, collecting trees. So, we should be able to, I need to move this, I guess, somewhere more efficient. Just connect this all together nicely. wire it all eventually kind of put it all up in my house so that's all connected together so this is nearly burnt out but it's now glowing green implying that it's running a good high level of efficiency I have no indication of how long this has got left on it although it's producing more minecraft jewels then it can transmit, apparently. This is burning fuel, fuel, fuel at quite a rate. Burning for fuel, burning, burning it through fuel. I want this to go off. Come on, engine, run out of fuel. I didn't mean to send you off, I meant run out of fuel of your own accord. Okay, now it's running out of fuel of its own accord because it's not gaining any more. So it's just draining it now, isn't it? But it's still running at full efficiency, so much so that we can get some more oil. Really? I remember how many oil buckets you get per full or filled refinery. Oops. Probably only going to be one more, is it? No, two more. That's still draining fuel power. Might have to get some more tanks on here. But that's doing that nicely. So, that's all good. We can then take the fuel and put the fuel back into our compression engine. That's four buckets worth, so that's how much that takes. Apparently I've got five buckets in here. That's good. It's all going well. So 
my f power for the RF is massively more efficient than using a combustion engine, which is always good to know. So this is a problem with the growing of the seeds. I basically need to re entirely reorganize almost the entirety of my um, farm because I've got all the dimensions wrong apparently um, because this this line of reeds is not being farmed by the machine because it's on the outside. So I can move this level of water across one, put the reeds there, move the melon farms all across one, and I'll keep them away from the cactus and the trees, which is all good. And then the melons will grow wherever they want to grow, but I can put something behind the melons then, like I have here with the reeds, and then have the trees and the cactus, and it should all work nicely. But it's only a short episode this week, or this week, it's not it's just me, it applies to me, no, a short episode this time, because I just wanted to f sort out and confirm that the, uh, I wanted to A, confirm what the fishing rod was, and B, wanted to confirm that this power would connect to the refinery. Once I've got um, this current stock of fuel burnt down, I've got quite a full tank here, I'm going to probably look at putting my um, power station together for my base, and start the process of moving everything into here because I've built the floor now, I've got the ramp in place, I've got a few things sorted out, lights all sorted out, it's a bit of a mess, but it needs sorting out, and I'm going to keep moving the quarry around and try and get some obsidian, because the nether, I want to try and get it to the nether without having built diamond tools, because as soon as I've got the equipment I need to build a power suit, I get a power fist, and then I'm pretty much sorted and set for life. The final thing I want to do, is somebody requested the world seed and it took me ages and ages and ages to remember to actually give it to you but if you do want to play in the same world as me follow along or anything you may like here is the world seed i have no idea how or what information you need other than that but there it is for you uh do as with as you wish i hope you've enjoyed the episode and i will see you very shortly for the next one bye for now guys